Hey, it's Wednesday, September 20th, so I've decided to do another Top 5 Wednesday because I had a lot of fun with that last week. This week, I'm doing the top five app games that I like to play. I've made sure that all of these apps are free on iOS, and all except for one of them are definitely also available on Android. So number five, this is the only one that I'm not sure if it's available on Android, is a game called Stair Dismount. This is an older app, actually hasn't been updated in a long time, so it's not necessarily compatible with newer versions of iOS, but I really, really like it. The point of this game is that you have a mannequin at the top of a set of stairs and you push them down. And the more injured they get, the more points you get. I'm aware that that makes this a pretty dark game, but I enjoy it and it's very good at relieving stress. There's something about just pushing a poor little mannequin down the stairs that uh, makes me feel more zen about my day. Number four is Pokemon Go. I realize that Pokemon Go is sort of not as popular as it was during the main craze, but when you live in Orlando and you work at Universal Orlando where there are Pokestops constantly, it's definitely an app still worth having. It's really fun, it's great at being interactive with your environment, and I have a great time just playing and hatching eggs and gaining more and more and more Pokemon. Number three is Charades. Uh, you will know this as the knockoff version of Heads Up. Uh, basically, it's that one where you put your phone on your forehead and it says a word and people have to try and get you to guess that word without saying it out loud. It is the number one I'm waiting in line game ever. And I play that one pretty regularly when I don't have anything to do or when I'm waiting in line with a group of people. And you'll see it, especially things like Halloween Horror Nights or in the theme parks when people are queuing for long periods of time. Number two is Icon Pop Quiz. So there have been several Icon Pop Quizzes over the years. They just came out pretty recently with Icon Pop Quiz 2. And so that one is currently updated and you can play that or you can download some of the older versions. Basically what this game is, is they give you a tiny little graphic and you have to identify the celebrity, character, movie, horror icon, whatever it happens to be, brand, uh, that is identified in this little piece of art. I'm obsessed. I love trying to guess what they are. I love figuring it out. It's really exciting when I figure a new one out and then I enjoy showing it to my friends and other people because they will recognize things that I don't recognize at all. And I always think that that's really fun. And number one on this list is the Cube Escape series by a company called Rusty Lake. So Rusty Lake has the series called Cube Escape and then they have a subtitle. And those are your classic escape the room games, point and click adventures, but they're all a single room that you sort of turn around like a cube. And then they also have two paid apps that you can get as well. And they're all under Rusty Lake. I can't recommend them enough. I kept this to free apps, otherwise the paid Rusty Lake apps would also be number one on my list. They are a dark sort of macabre storyline and a little bit scary, but really, really fun, very detailed, and a very good puzzle set. I have played and beat them all, and I cannot wait for them to come out with the next one. So those are my top five app games that I have an obsession with. Hopefully you can check them out. If you have played them or you do check them out, please leave a comment so that I know what you were interested in. And if you have any free app recommendations for games that you think I should try out, go ahead and leave that in the comments too. I'd be interested in trying something new. I realized as I was making this list that my phone is pretty short on game apps as of late, especially new and updated ones. I'll see you tomorrow.